first time we saw it, a dark mass of buildings huddled on the mountain's shoulder, a place they called Headstone Hill. The town was ablaze with electric light and verged on miraculous. But we noticed how strangely the light flickered and how every shadow grew deeper and more suspicious of its presence. That's where Agent Reeg vanished, so that's where we had to go. It was time for us to face the horror at Headstone Hill. Hello and welcome to the Iconic Production Channel, Wild Cards. I am JM, your Marshal, and with me are, well, 75% of the posse. Uh, we are in the slightly less Best Bob timeline uh, this week. Uh, it is a uh, great to have you all here with us tonight. We are excited to be back at our uh, game, uh, The Horror at Headstone Hill. And uh, before we get started, this is a show uh, put on by Pinnacle. Pinnacle does, uh, Entertainment Group does... Deadlands, Savage Worlds, uh, Savage Rifts, Savage Pathfinder, lots of savage things. And so we are glad to be doing this uh, show in partnership with them. Uh, thank you, Pinnacle, for uh, everything. And uh, before we get started, we gave out some advancements at the end of last week. And I wanted to just, we'll start with Lily. Lily, what did Ada take as her uh, advancement uh I have seen the wisdom of taking luck as a uh, as an edge, uh, so that I can have additional bennies. So I'm having a luck benny. So does that give you one extra benny? I'll make sure to put you in a situation where you have to spend it. Uh, I know. Rook, what did uh, Wickers uh, pick up as his advancement? Tying it into his spectacular failure to use Stitchin last time, I have opted to take improved Stitchin so that that pound of meat goes a lot farther so that within the next hour, the character can make another heal roll. So you'll be pounding meat? A pound of meat every hour? That came out way worse than I had anticipated in my head. We're moving what on to move Sister May! JD, what did you get? I thought that it might be wise for me to take True Believer Edge. What does that do for you? It might be wise for Well, uh, it allows me to re-roll Faith. Excellent. At least once. Excellent. Wonderful. All right. Well, when we last left our posse off, they had returned to the miners and opened up Agent Riggs' safe. Thanks to Leslie's ability uh, to deal with the devil and pull out an object read spell uh, from his deck of cards. You guys opened the, the safe, but things were not all as it seemed because... Oh, thank you, Tank the Frank. Uh, Tank has been advertising the stream for us on the unofficial Discord. I greatly appreciate that. Um, and... Ada was shaken by the fact that she saw Wicker's Manitou get let out. And uh, that made her susceptible to some evil that was in the cave. And the cave uh, was the home of several undead, which uh, the largest of which Wicker's decided the best way to deal with that in the fight was to take it and dive off the edge of the... Uh, the cliff in the cave and woke up minus a couple of cheek uh patches of, of cheek flesh and his nose was told by this thing that it was not the um not time yet his master would not let him kill him kill wickers yet and the group made it back to the group of miners and that is when millie lachance the once uh romantic interest of agent Rieg, uh, arrived at the miner camp and said, he's done it, he's trying to consolidate all of the mines. And Prospector Bob, in a peak of fury and outrage, ran back to his uh, mining site not too far from here as Wickers ate raw meat, uh, which uh, did nothing but left him with a belly full of you know raw meat. And uh, as the group was trying to figure out what was going on, They heard a gunshot coming from the direction of Bob's mine. 
And uh, Tank the Frank is always on your side, reminding you guys about telling stories. VB Greg, it is always good to see you here. And so that is where we're going to pick off uh, or pick up. Uh, they rush up around Millie. Millie, what are you saying? What's going on? And uh, she sits down, uh, obviously shaken. I'm telling you, Heaston is making his bid for the town. He said that after all of the things that have been going on, the head, the headless horseman, um, and some of these other things, that it was not safe for miners who were not under his protection. He says that he has an article coming out in the Examiner tomorrow that that will have one of us, one of those who are members of the Independent Miners League, the Heaston Miners Union, who is throwing back behind Heaston. The town is in an uproar. You have to come back. Vickers just kind of pops his collar real quick, walks over to one of the miners, possibly wearing one of those uh, things that you got around your neck, JM, and just kind of was like, can I borrow that? Uh, Tyree looks at you. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can borrow this, man. Thank you. Ties it around his face so that you, no one can see the mauled ugly hindrance that he acquired from his first fall which yes i did figure out what you give gave me oh sir. yeah yeah you, you did <laughs> i know what you did to me <laughs> and uh he's uh, then gonna turn to uh this person who he does not know because he has never Millie. heard her last name yeah uh tyree kind of Millie. which is probably good ada sister may wickers this is uh millie she uh she runs one of the uh, the food houses down in down in Houston. I've met some of you before. Where? Oh, hello, Leslie. Um, and she is just like I mean, she is fanning her face. She obviously ran from town. And uh, Tyree's uh, wife Jenny comes out with uh, with some water and just just calm down. It'll be okay. Leslie's like, uh, should are we should we be worried about a uh, gunshot coming from Prospect or Bob's direction? I mean, man was not good with shotgun. He gave it to us for good reason and good keeping. He seems much more of a pickaxe kind of guy, but um, no. Up I'm just real delighted quick. by your rendition of Leslie. I'm so sorry. I, I practiced for a week. That's not true. I practiced for like four hours, but good enough in today's market. Good, good enough. <laughs> close enough for Russian jazz. Uh, Posse, huddle up real quick. It's up to the party of course did they do so <sighs> whatever's going on is not going to be helping what he's doing is instigating more fear we have already had enough of that i can feel every time we're near that man the thing inside me crawling and itching he's not tied to it directly whatever it is but he's not helping one damn bit so we have to stop this nonsense or else we're never going to get anything done. Easton, we have to stop Houston. Yes. Sorry, I was unclear because, you know, we we're talking about Prospector Bob. My apologies, my brain skipped ahead. <laughs> yes, you've uncovered the secret plan that Prospector Bob is behind it all. You never know. It is true. Especially with you. It was a gray hat. Of course it was all his fault. <laughs> so you think Heaston is um, behind not it, but it. Whatever he's doing is exacerbating what's already here. Yeah, he, there are ladies present. <sighs> you are three words away from me 
chucking you over a horse and sending you after Bob. Okay. Which actually might be a better plan. Just the dagger eyes that you get from some people when you do something. It's like, really? <laughs> well, I'm not certain that trying to stop an entire town from fighting with each other is a good choice with our limited amount of time and resources, especially since that will certainly alienate us from one group or the other from which we might need to get information. There are children in that town. I will not let them watch their parents get murdered in cold blood. Well, of course not. Which means we stop it now, one way or the other. And Sister May, you know, uh, we have signed up with Heaston. So if we uh, go a little rogue right now, we don't know who will come after us. We need to know. I appreciate that you wanted to keep your weapons and therefore agreed to do some tasks for Mr. Heaston before he allowed you to become one of his crew, which we have yet to do. And right now, all of his boys are focused in on everybody else. Which means that we have a little more leeway than others. And I'm, and I'd rather believe that. And he just kind of looks behind to the family of miners that we have come to the, we're at a family's claim, correct? Like, yeah, that's, it's their claim. Place. Yeah. And they have kids. They have two kids. And I wasn't there for one set of kids, the ones that mattered to me. I won't do it again. I have this chance to make it right. I will take it with or without you. Leslie kind of holds up his hand. I know you gave me only three words and I used one, maybe two on okay, but I want to support what you are doing, so please do not... Uh, toss me over horse's rump. Um, he may have a point. Tyree kind of calls from her across. I mean, he may. Heaston's been gathering men, hiring people in town from the detective agency. But listen, I know who's in charge down there. Denebe's got us all working together. I'm sure he can keep the town under control for the night. You guys want to stay here and rest for a bit. If you want to ride, we're only about a couple hours till dawn. The examiner won't come out till an hour after the sunrise. We live now. We do need to rest and heal, but... If, Wickers, you have a plan on how to defuse the situation in town before it comes to a head, I am all ears. You guys said of Tyree? No, that was aimed at me. Oh, okay. <sighs> Three possibilities. We all go in guns blazing, kill every last one of Heaston's men. Obviously, you're not going to have that. Tyree's eyes get real big and you can kind of see Jenny's kind of, Okay, children, it is now time for bed. Sees that gets a little flustered, but can't blush because right, you know, yeah. he's missing most of what he needs for that now. And also, he couldn't have done that anyway. That's right. But um, then he goes, Take out the press. Doesn't have to be that we kill anybody, but we just break the machines in some fashion. After all, looks to Leslie, we have some lucky dynamite on hand. I'm not sure how lucky it actually is. I don't think Bob just... I think Bob uh, anthropomorphizes things and attributes them attributes that they do not actually possess. But we have dynamite, yes, he passes his side. 
Anthropomorphism, first off, is about animals being made into people, which is very common in indigenous lore, but that's beside the point. I mean, now, yes, sometimes yes, but it can also be when, like, someone, uh, like, makes their doll alive. That also is a type of anthropomorphism. Never mind, I cannot always say the words that I am thinking of because I am but a poor receptacle for Leslie. Tyree says, I can get you right to the, the press. I know I know where the examiner is. Excellent. In that case, we need a distraction. And I know just the thing. We rescue Scarlet. We, I we rescue Scarlet. That was try not and what talk I... To them first. Before Dynamite. Dynamite takes out the press. Take out the press, you take out half the root of the problem. Well, yes, but then... Locals become illiterate, and they don't know what is going on in town. Perhaps we just stop the presses? There's a good father that has a Bible on his mantle. He's true. As much as I do not care for it, some of the folks could do to read from the good book around these parts. You said third option. Kill Easton. Snakehead and all that jazz. Jenny comes back out. Millie, let's let's go have a let's go have a a, a nice cup of whiskey. And <laughs> Millie's eyes are like goodbye. Takes out the fla the flask that he's been filling with that whatever swill he got from that dive bar and just tosses it to them just absent-mindedly like whiskey oh yeah i've got that and i then, am uh, merely saying that if we speak to the newspaper give them alternate stories of great renown perhaps we might convince them to run a different headline tomorrow before we you know <laughs> Default to violence. And if they're in his pocket? Well, I'm certain they are. Then they are small people. And we can take them out easily. It's like Leslie met Drax right there. <laughs> Bob, when you watch <laughs> this, I hope you feel like I'm doing you justice. <sighs> Counts to I'm five. sure Fraser. if things go as they have that you'll get to have violence but perhaps we should just start with not violence sister I let you keep me briefly from killing a man that killed my wife I want you to think about that now I have been nice and kind to this point of not doing that and I'd rather not have to tie you up and leave you here. But this is a problem that we, and he leads in close, the Legion cannot afford to have. If you get into somebody that walks the opposite side of your tracks, the sooner we stop Letting our better selves get in the way. The sooner we can get things done. Easton is an impediment. What do you do with an impediment? You remove it in some capacity. Now, do I want killing to be the number one option? No. But if me doing that allows you all to either dismantle the press or at least kidnap the person that does the press. In which case, there's no violence intended. They get to live and we don't destroy anything or we destroy it and prevent it from being a problem in the future. Ada, what are you either thinking way, about as all of this is being he said? You've been awfully quiet as the, uh, the promise of violence has been... Uh, 
kicked around on the ground back and forth between these two. Uh, since Sister May does not appear to be in any immediate danger of uh, coming afoul of uh, Wickers and his demon, uh, I'm just letting them argue this out because I don't really have a horse in this race. Uh, <laughs> they're, uh, I, you know, it, it feels more satisfying to go back to town and deal with Houston than to uh, go hunt down <laughs> Prospector Bob and see what what is going on there. But, uh, you know. All right. Uh, then... I need the plan. <laughs> Sister May, the volley is to you, I believe. I am not disagreeing that there are impediments in place. I am merely disagreeing with the nuclear option. Oops, that's the wrong word. Uh, what would the equivalent be? The cannon option being your go-to. There are better ways to remove this impediment. Well then, your suggestion? Don't speak up, Sister May. This is the time to give a better suggestion. I'm so sorry. I thought you said Lily. Oh. Nope. My suggestion would be that we start with the presses, figure out what's going on with the story for tomorrow, and why it has everyone so upset, who is trying to instigate the violence and get things riled, and then we'll know where to strategically strike. Article that undermines independent miners. Easton, riling up the people because of dumb ideas and having chips idiotically back him up strategic place to strike comes back to Houston so I cannot condone killing Houston I will remind you that sometimes there are darker forces that are at play than are wrapped up in an individual man. So you're saying that we should just let these good people suffer under his thumb? Because what? They don't matter? Not at all. I'm saying that we should empower the people to stand up for themselves. And how do you propose they do that? They don't have the means. They don't have the weapons. They have been pinned down. They have a knife to their throat every given day. But you wouldn't know what that's like, would you? Be pinned down, unable to do anything. Unable to save those you care about. Of course you wouldn't. Oh, Spoiled nuns! I am under that oppression every day for you. Where was your God when my wife died praying to him? Where was he? Where? He was there, just as he's here. Hey, I... He listens to your prayers, but not hers? What makes you better? What makes you worthy? Nothing. I, I have no worthiness in my own. And yet, you're the one who gets the halos, that gets the responses, is able to heal. And yet, here I am, the only one to remember my wife, my sons who were hanged from a tree. But you're not the only one to remember her. There's no one else in our life. My father is dead. My mother is dead. My brother, dead. Her family, 
elsewhere. They don't know. I can't contact them. There's no way. I am all that there is in my family that remembers. I am so sorry, Wickers. I know that this is painful. And I cannot take that away. But neither will killing other people. It will not dull that edge. And it will not bring them back. I mean to bring them back. I know they're dead and gone. But you see what passes for justice. You see what Chips does. Presses these people like he likely, in service to the, whatever military he served, oppressed the other people, people like my wife. There is no real justice other than this. And he pulls his revolver. This is the only justice that these men understand. They don't know about your God. They've lost their way to him. And as have I, for reasons that I believe were worth it. I didn't come back to life because I was doing it on a lark. Because it was rage. I am so angry and I will. I will have what's mine, what's due to me. And if you won't help these people, then I will. And he will turn around, put the gun in his holster, and he will mount up and ride off. Well, that did not go quite as well as it possibly could. We better go do as much damage control as we can. Uh, at this point, there is one of the roosters does crow and you guys you realize you've been arguing for about an hour back and forth and dawn is on been an hour you say yes yes you can eat more raw meat if you have it said i got an undetermined amount in that package you can have one more bite <laughs> i rolled a two uh, all right now i gotta remember how to do this Okay, this is I do. I am with Ada. Bigger? I do not think we should be letting Wickers, especially in that state, ride into a town um, carrying lead. Mm. Gonna spend a Benny. Okay, pick different dice. I uh, I only have the one right now. <laughs> Though I do need to use the actual uh, wild die. That one might be half my problem. Twelve. Okay. You start stitching up. How much does a twelve heal me? I'm not sure if these if uh, healing rolls raise or not. All right, we'll let you know here in a second. Um, as you guys, uh, Kyrie kind of comes up. Is he going in to kill everybody? Like we've got friends and family in town. If we need to mount up and go after him, we will. He's not going to kill everybody. But if they're with. If they're with Heaston, let me know now. Well, none of my family is, but here's the problem. That whole town's set to blow. Not literally, because Leslie's eyes get real big. I just want to say out of game. I love you, JD. I'm sorry. <laughs> Page 96. Uh, Rook, I'll let you look that up while I do this. Uh, um, where? Is that it, in... 96 in the core or... book. Yeah. Thank you. The problem is that town's ready to blow. Hastings has been pushing us to the edge, and if Wickers goes in there and sets something off, it may not just be Hastings' men who start shooting. Thank you for the advice. And oh, uh, oh, I'm going with you. I'll show you where the examiner is. 
If that's still where you're keen on going, Sister May. I think that is our best option. As long as we catch Wickers before his anger explodes as well. I was not sure this would help, but remember, like, uh, and he, like, kisses his, his cross. There is one person who does remember everyone. In, uh, was not going to bring it up in the moment because stepping between the two of you seemed the quickest way to be put over the rope of the horse. These things I agree with, Leslie, but he would not have heard me even had I uttered those words. All right, well, then we should hurry. Tyree's like, I agree with him. We should go. All right. So, mounting up, uh, you guys go after uh, after Wickers as best as you are able. What I need from the three of you, or from the two of you, Ada and Sister May, is I need a writing check. Um, if a person didn't have that skill, would it be athletics? <laughs> Why would you be asking that, JD? the audience's edification sure sure sure, sure. <laughs> i appreciate that uh it would be my, agility my speaking to the dice last week must have had some purpose because i just rolled double sixes nice uh, total of a 10 okay sister may five all right uh ada sadly Sister may fall. It's not that she's not going to catch him. But it definitely looks like uh, you and Leslie are the ones pulling into the lead. Uh, you can see Wicker's up ahead. The sun is rising, casting dawn's light across uh, the plains, casting a shadow, driving it back on the bench as you come down. Uh, you can start to see the curls of smoke coming out of chimneys in Heaston Hill as you descend down the bench. And, uh... Does there appear to be a center of activity in town, or is it quiet? Um, as you ro are rolling up, why don't you give me a notice check? Four. Uh, you don't see a lot of people up and around town, but where you do see the largest grouping of people is you see there are uh, people standing around uh, a large building uh, near uh, the center of town. And then because of your familiarity with the uh, with Heaston Hill, you can also see that there is a fairly large number of people around Denebay's Cafe. Okay. And Cigar and, Store. And uh, where are we going for the Inquirer? Uh, Tyree uh, kind of pulls up alongside you. Hell. That's the Inquirer over there, and it's the first building that has a group of people around it. Mm -hmm. Wickers. Uh, oh, the raise with two successes, I think, is what he's talking about, Tank. Uh, Wickers, yes. where are you headed? Well. First stop is to stop by the stable so that he can get off the horse. Okay. As well as shuck off his coat, which he has never taken off this entire time. And underneath he's wearing a blood red vest and a oddly nice shirt. That feels that on point. Yeah, and he starts rolling up his sleeves and all that as he's looking around and he takes off his hat and will set it on top of his uh, the uh, horn for the saddle. 
And then uh, he will uh, take his gun, look at it. Put Ada, it you and Tyree kind of come up right behind him. Sister May, you are uh, you're a nun on the run. And you are uh, doing your best to stay on horseback. Um, but Tarnation, this horse, this god's creature doesn't have a mind of its own. Uh, you are... <laughs> My second time on horseback. Uh, you are doing your blessed best to keep the horse sort of pointed at Heaston Hill. Uh, as you kind of ride, uh, ride up, you do hear Leslie shout to you, Ada. You take care of this. I have to go check on something as well. It seems we are all riding off in our own directions today. <laughs> and he rears the horse and then heads... Uh, uh, towards the jail. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't get himself killed. <laughs> we'll worry about that later. What do you do, Ada? You you and Tyree catch up with Wickers. That's Horses plan, Wicker. getting in the dust. Clouds of dirt kind of going everywhere. Wicker's horse, which seems to... Uh, be barely to tolerating the man riding him, does spook at the sign of this, kind of rears up, pulling at the reins that Wickers has lashed around uh, uh, one of the uh, hitching rails. Close. Yeah. Well, several options. Guerrilla tactics and take them all out. Or call out Heaston's boy. The old-fashioned way. Other than you don't like his face, you have a reason to It would to be a demoralizing out. blow that would cause him to have a necessity to take a moment and take stock well, of himself. I meant one that'll pass muster with the town. Well, they can't riot if they're, you know, having to watch somebody else settle it for them. Yes. <laughs> We need an excuse. <laughs> oh, I have one. Okay. If it's not him, then Chips. Actually, the stops. Marshal. Yeah, the Lawless Marshal. Funny that. Willing to be so corrupt and to buy into the pocket of a man. Well, okay. Uh, I agree that um, a shootout is the best um, distraction and possible method of diffusing this situation. Um, the crowd appears to be gathered at the print, uh, the printing office. Um, you. We're going to draw notice. <laughs> Leslie well, has run was... off. <laughs> well, this is going to happen. There was going to be notice drawn one way or the other. Speaking of notice, as you are standing there, Sister May, you come riding into now. Um, and I'd like all of you to give me a notice roll. Sister May, uh, unfortunately, you're at a minus two. Well, I'm going to re-roll that. Uh, notice, notice, notice. Where are you, my friend? There we go. Nine. All right. Four. Zero. Sister May. Uh, what color is Sister May's hair under the habit? Because some of it has worked loose and it's currently plastered against her face. So she can't see real well. And, uh... The jostling has had your teeth rattling. You can't hear real well either. Auburn. Auburn. Uh, yeah. She's got to kick it, uh, John Doom. It's a bad habit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tank the Fright. Um, all right. Uh, Wickers, what did you get? I had a four. You had a four? All right. So you hear clear as day. Extra, extra! Read all about it! And 
Ada, you uh, and the the voice claims Prospector Bob throws in with Heaston, demoralizing Union, and Ada, with your raise, you definitely hear, no, Bob would never do such a thing, no, and you can hear, get back, get back, we gotta get these papers out. So much for that uh, tactic. I mean. It sounds like there's still one tactic left to us. And Wickers will go off on a little walk. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Um, I would like to go up to the person trying to get the papers out. Okay. And in my best speak to the ba back of the classroom voice, <clears throat> Before you say that, Ada, which direction are you going? Are you going after Leslie, Wickers, or Sister May? Kyrie goes after Sister May. Wickers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll start with Sister May. Ladies and gentlemen, good folks of Houston Hill, I can tell you for a fact that this article is false prospector bob was kidnapped and cannot have thrown in with heaston so if we find prospector bob i'm sure this will all be cleared up they look at you they look at the the guy who is holding the newspaper who looks flustered uh beyond all belief and I would like you to give me a persuasion roll there, Sister May. Eight. What? We knew Bob wouldn't do something that that liar. You ain't nothing but a mouthpiece for Heaston. And uh, Sister May, on the on the one hand, you have totally thrown in. Oh, uh, Tank, you totally earned a Benny with everything you have been suggesting tonight. I will give you one. Uh, Sister May, you get the, uh, on the... On the plus side, you get everyone up in arms. On the negative side, uh, the crowd grabs the guy with the paper and pulls him off of uh, uh, the, the sidewalk. And they just start wailing on him as a mouthpiece for uh, Heaston. Oh, no, this is going to turn ugly, Sister May. Tyree says to you. Then I will dive on top of him to protect him from further blows and say, Good people! That is not the right course faction. He was merely misinformed. And now we have corrected him. And he won't be printing this, will he? Will you? Uh, Sister May, we're going to see if you take any... Uh... Any blows for the... I won't say the innocent here. Uh, saints and ministers of grace preserve you. None of them roll high enough to hit uh, your parry. And they all kind of back off. And he's like... Uh, you're like on top of him. And this guy, like, spectacles have been broken. Uh, his left cheek is swelling. And he looks up at you. No! <laughs> no! No, ma'am. No, ma'am. There is a, uh, you hear a massive sound of like stone breaking and metal twisting uh, coming from several streets over. But we're going to jump over to Ada and Wickers. Where are you guys headed? I'm looking for that little, no good, Son of a gun, one-eyed, yellow-bellied prairie dog that calls itself Max Heaston. Might I recommend we start at Denebay's? Delightful proposition. All right. You guys make your way to Denebay's. And you can see that Frank is out there kind of holding up his hands, pointing to a paper that says... Bob sides with Heaston. Actually, if you guys would like to, it actually says, yeah, I would like you guys to pull out handout M from this morning's edition. 
of the Houston Examiner. And to the editor, I will do this in uh, Prospector Bob's. Uh, thank you are most welcome, Lily. I this really I just do the voices for you. The fact that anyone else enjoys them is just uh, an added benefit. Ah, we found it. The citizens of this fair city of Hasten Hill have watched with great interest as a trading post rose from the foothills, burgeoning into the floodling territorial metropolis that we know today. But there's no question of our good fortune. But as responsible residents, we must grapple with the issue of letting our greed get in the way of our bright future. February's tragic disaster told, stole 22 lives and many more have died since. So we draft this letter to humbly suggest a course of action that will cement Heaston's Hill's prosperity for all time. The town council must, as soon as feasible, require by law that all miners of Terrytown Bench be legally bonded employees of the Heaston Mining Company. Mr. Heaston has brought electric light and a measure of riches never seen before in Uinta. Let us trust him to provide for all the miners' safety indeed safeguarding our entire home and legacy. To do aught else would be to invite catastrophe. Robert Malone. Uh, Ada, you have been given a Benny, by the way, uh, from Tank the Frank. Thank you, Tank the Frank. Uh, standing next to, uh, like, in the crowd, you can hear some voices calling for calm, for measured responses, uh, uh, you hear some of them refer to her as the mayor, and Mayor uh, Lobdell kind of comes up, yes, yes, no, Denebe, it is indeed out of character for Mr. Malone to print this. However, that is his signature that was printed with the letter. We need to investigate this, please, people. Now is not the time for bloodshed. Hold me, Mayor. She kind of turns. And who are you? You're not a member of this town. Neither of you are. What are you here? Are you one of Heaston's boys? I do believe I heard that you were working for Heaston himself. There's a lot, a lot of words without let me. You said a lot of words without let me cut in edgewise there. It's kind of rude. You interrupted I didn't even me. Get to answer the first question. Yeah, but your uh, statement was false to an extent. There is no need for blood, and he will turn to the crowd for all. Of his men. Just two. Possibly three. Uh, one interruption, Wickers. John Doom definitely gets a uh, Benny for Bob can yeah, so yeah. well with he's his hand <laughs> that far up his ass. That is a... Uh, <laughs> yes. yes. Go ahead, Wickers. Heaston. is no good little livered son. And chips. Those should be the only ones that have to pay for this. For doing this to you. All of you. You've been pinned. With a knife to your throat. And he's going to walk among them. Just this tall. Willowy frame. That's. Walking around. And what have you done. About it. You're, you're talking to the crowd? To the crowd. The crowd. Mm -hmm. Just looking at them. When it started, what did you do? The smart thing. You ducked down. Took care of your children, which is where your first focus should be. By chance, are the Italian children anywhere in sight? For the a ones Benny, that were at the house. For a Benny, they could be. And for a Benny, we'll have that. I would, I would love that actually. So I will gladly give a Benny for that. And then, give me one small second. This was one of those small spur of the moment things that just popped in my head. So I gotta use the power of Google Translate. While we wait for that, um, Ada, or sorry, Sister May and uh, Tyree, what are you doing? 
Um, I am rushing towards the sound, uh, thinking that it is our our lovely wickers causing mayhem. And as I'm going, I am, you know, I keep saying over and over again, everyone stay calm, calm heads will prevail. Um, all right. Are you ready, wickers? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Yes, sir. If I butcher this and somebody speaks Italian, you can smack me later. Non less, non less sero che un altro bambino. Sia oppresso da un uomo con troppo ego. And he will look deliberately at the children and their parents when he says this. They kind of put their hands on their kids' shoulders and kind of draw them close. He'll nod to them. Now you all don't need to get up in arms. And he'll continue to look around. Doesn't have to be your burden anymore. Put it on me. I've seen what happens when men like this do what they have done. The things that I've witnessed, I would never want anyone to witness. So you all go home batten the hatches with any good luck and good fortune you all won't have this problem come sunrise can we leave most of our weapons with Frank if we're going to go into a uh, confrontation with Heaston I think he's going to uh, rescind our right to carry steel and I don't want to leave them at the house where uh Heaston might already know where we live. <laughs> uh, Fair point. The mayor, uh, so Frank kind of nods to you. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll hold on to him for you. Uh, the mayor says, so you just, this is, this is your, this is your solution to just, to just frontier vengeance this. What are you going to call them out? at high noon and have a shootout, the two of you with the two of them? Looks to Ada, looks back to the mayor. Sounds good to me. You know, this will only be a spark. His men aren't going to just step aside. This is not some tale of well, Arthur or Charlemagne. It's not like the, the leader goes down and the, and the men go scattering, or will honor some sort of deal. You start the bloodshed, and the blood will flow. Well, then they can just chase me down. Or... Better, better us than but, townspeople. Do you want your people to be the ones on the chopping block? Because I don't. Let me go talk to Heaston. And how much good has that done so far? Listen, this isn't your town. You don't know how it works. It seems so simple when you ride in, and you can ride out and not have to deal with the consequences of your actions. I've been dealing with the consequences of my actions for the past 20 years, ma'am. And he'll pull down this improvised mask to reveal his face all marred. Um, the mayor faints. And he'll slowly turn... Knowing after he has caught the mayor, he's like, oh shit, didn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> but then he will slowly turn so that people can see. The price is always paid. I would not wish this on you, your children. I will take it as I've taken so many others. And then he will go to reach up and then he'll stop. Let his hand drift back down after he had been about to just clasp and rip, and he's like, "Nope, no, uh, can't do that." So, Wickers, I'm not sure what reaction you were going for. It's gonna be the opposite of what I wanted, but you, it's definitely gonna be. You can what see, I you can see fear in people's eyes, terror as it grips them, seeing your your horrendous and ugly visage and um you get the feeling that i mean you've just felt it earlier 
you get the feeling that Ansozit is uh, maybe flaring just a little bit. Your blood's up. Your focus is, your rage is up. He takes the advantage, and, so it, and you can see fight or flight is essentially what is happening. And people disperse, but not necessarily in kind of the way you had, you had hoped. And at this point, you two hear the sound of stone breaking and metal twisting from the opposite side. Uh, Sister May, what'd you get on your notice? Did Liz say I missed that you wanted me to roll that? What did you say? What, what was I, that? I said I missed that you wanted oh, me to roll please that. Please make a I'm notice. So Ada, what did you say? Did Leslie take the lucky dynamite with him? Leslie did take the lucky dynamite with did. him. Five. John gets the Benny. Uh, Sister May, you can see something moving through the streets away from the jail. It is large it seems to be like there seems to be like a stove kind of in the middle of it and it's carrying something and you can just see a shock of red hair as this thing kind of moves down through the streets huddling by building moving uh off in to the west there is a giant <laughs> hole in the side uh, you can see where it looks like something grabbed the uh, bars of the window and pulled a chunk of the door down, or the wall down. I called it. <laughs> so that's not important. I'm going to go try and find Vickers. <laughs> Wickers, Ada, what are you doing? You see the town disperse, and uh, Ada, to you, you can kind of feel that that sense that something's watching you kind of run up and down your spine. Things got a little darker in town. Yeah, I uh, am going to try to revive the mayor because I think it's better that I try to do that than Wickers. Hey, wake up! <laughs> Uh, what are you doing to wake her up? Um, splashing well, her with water? <laughs> someone gave him the suggestion of, uh, using, uh, dealing with, uh, uh, dealing with the devil to summon an ally, uh, tank the break. Um, all right, you splash. <gasps> oh my God, did you see his face? He's not alive. Uh, He's not human. Uh, unclear on both. No, that's her. Um, <laughs> I've seen worse. Uh, Wickers, what do you do while she's trying to wake up the the doctor? What or the mayor? Puts mask, puts mask back on, and uh, seeing as how people are dispersing, even if it's not in the calm, collected manner he had hoped, but he is, after all, mean and ugly. So. Uh, not, not surprising in even the least bit that people were just like, nope. <laughs> so, sighs a little bit inwardly, but then uh, we'll, uh, he's going to hold to his word. He's, he's going to go look and he's going to be like, I'm going to guess that whatever that is, that's Leslie. Hmm. <laughs> Walks away, just hoping that he's competent enough on his own. Where are you going, Wickers? Where are you headed? It's gonna sniff him out. It's gonna go and try to find one of those three aforementioned individuals. All right, so here's how we're gonna do this. Wickers, so this is a networking test, okay? Trying to find things out in town. Sister May, you're trying to find Wickers. So I'm assuming Sister May is not going to be, uh, is going to be persuading people to give her the information she wants. Wickers, you're going to be using more of the uh, strong arm. Where is he? It's going to be a lot of the, where's Rachel? That's right. Swear to me. Um, 
And uh, so I'm going to have an intimidation roll from Wickers and a persuasion roll from Sister May. I know this is an odd thing, but do mean and ugly give me bonuses to intimidation? Now? Uh, I know that I know that they're penalties in a way, but this is. Uh, there is a part of me that definitely wants to say yes. Give me a second. Like when I uh, asked if um, Edith showing up in a werewolf trimmed uh, duster gave her any points against right. werewolf. <laughs> I mean. I personally feel like that would be enough to be like, she's ballsy enough to wear one of our cousins on her mm -hmm. um, and walk I'm, into our camp. I am going to that give you moment. in this in this case, I will give you a plus two to your role because I'm sorry, Sister May, as nice as you are, I'm scarier. Dude is is scary. Go for it. Can I also do a notice roll? Because all I really have to do is watch where people are fleeing from. <laughs> I will allow that I, as well. I, I can't argue that. <laughs> and uh, I have a total of eight. All right. I also had an eight. All right. So in uh, the interest of drama, you find Wicker's sister May right as he finds Heaston. This is gonna go great. This is, it gives a whole new meaning to angel and devil on the shoulder. <laughs> All right. You get to Heaston Manor. The north end of Terrytown Street, Easton Circle. And you can see there's a lot of people. There's probably two dozen men and women all packing iron. Neat. Easton is talking to all of them. His boys are up there. Marshall Chips is up there. All right. Now it's going to get really, really ugly. Uh, and by the way, take the Frank, he did go for heroic uh, with the spellcasting roll. Um, but listen, Prospector Bob is thrown in with us, and this is the best way to get it done. Now, and he kind of sees you coming up. Chip, go take him. Go tell him what we're up to. Marshall kind of walks through the crowd of two dozen men. No. Oh no, but oh yes, but oh no. Okay, I I as soon as I catch up to you, I will I just want to whisper as fast as I can to whis Wickers. We just have to find Bob. They are lying about him throwing in. If we can get Bob to tell everyone that it's not true, he will lose power, he will lose face, and no one has to die. Wickers Aida, good that you are here. The time has come for you to throw in with, with us. There's going to be, Terrytown Miners Union is getting uppity, and we are going to make sure that the town has peace. Now, I don't expect a lot of resistance, but I want to make sure that there is no gunfire in the streets. As he finishes that sentence, Wickers is going to try to cult cock him. Uh, give me a cult cocking roll. That would be fighting, correct? Yes. Okay, I just need to double check and make sure that there isn't a... I know, actually, there is a thing for cult cock. Just just give me a fighting roll. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah I'll give you the fighting roll. I'm this, sorry, I just remembered that this there is a This is my years as a tune, a tune uh, director uh, naming every skill and type of damage. All right. Damage so... damage. Uh, slapped with a uh, frozen lobster damage was uh, was always one. That would be an 18. All right. Uh, you cold cock him across the 
across the face, uh, drawing blood, and he drops to the ground. Not dead, but definitely wounded. And immediately, you hear the sounds of hammers being pulled back as a large chunk of the people turn. How many of y'all gonna keep listening to lies? Jerem Heaston says, What in the hell are you doing, Wickers? I thought you were with us. Well, one of well, us. You... Well, up until the point where you started threatening the whole families, that became a bit of a problem for me. I'm calling you out, Heaston. You and your boy, Max. I would have called out you when Chips here looks down. Chips is getting to his feet, hand going for, uh... You draw that iron, it'll be the last thing you do. May I make... Would you like an intimidation again? I would like an intimidation. What are you doing, Ada? What are you doing, Sister May? I started with, so much for your plan, Sister May. <laughs> it may still work. <laughs> Listen, we just want Bob... We know that you kidnapped him last night, and we would just like him back, please. We heard gunshots. How do we know he was kidnapped and not killed? And it's an 11. Night, take the break. Thanks for joining us. They uh, have a, a signature. Yeah. Chip. And I can only hope that they know better than to <laughs> someone they need to corroborate a story. Jerem kind of says oh no you have revealed that the letter was forged whatever am I to do and there's a chuckle that goes through the crowd of gunmen I'm sorry sister you may be blessed but you're certainly touched in the head if you think that these folk here didn't know what I was trying to do there's a lot of ghost rock and dollars to be made in this town these people have chosen their side. Oh dear, that's not good for you. Uh, behind you. Also, oh, I don't know what happened. Some large golem, like out of uh, the stories, came and he uh, destroyed the jail. What did I miss? And you can see he has a big red lip stain on his cheek, like a lipstick stain on his cheek. Damn, kid. Good on you. The only compliment he'll ever give. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really think that I would lie about it? Prospector Bob is safe, far away from here. And if you want to see him again and not be Riddled with lead, I believe is the term. Throw down your weapons and you can go sit in jail. Jail is broken! The, the... You'll be locked up until after this business is done. All I need is these fine folk to sign over and join my organization. They're not, there need not be any more bloodshed. Ah, uh, but that's the thing. You were going to do it anyway. You don't fool me. Witnesses, witnesses, witnesses. They're a pesky nuisance. And every single victim is a witness. <sighs> you going to kill all the town? No. That's not the point. I want to legally own the town. I want to own every mining right for 15 miles around Heaston Hill. I want every bit of ghost rock that these poor schmucks dig up out of the ground to pass through my hands. I don't want to dig it out of the ground myself. First off, using schmuck in that fashion, not applicable. I don't think you meant to refer to foreskin in that way. Have you seen? Mm. He does. He, he does not respond. <laughs> but then so he will. Is similarly, unable to speak. <laughs> you 
Yeah, Wickers. But... Why don't you take your stinking, nosy, unwanted ass out of this town? And you can hear the shotgun uh, kind of click back together from behind you. Oh, yes. Uh, now I remember other thing I was supposed to share. Uh, Max uh, and his gang were uh, following me as I ran up. You still have the Turn. lucky dynamite? <laughs> he kind of... Wickers is going to turn around. Is the shotgun aimed at him? Yeah, it's all shotgun totally aimed at him. At and a like, respectable like, distance. When I say him, do I mean Wickers? Yeah, no, I'm sorry, yeah. I'm Max, to... Max Heaston is on a horse with a shotgun aimed at, at Wickers. Slow walks forward. I wouldn't take another step forward, Wickers. Because here's the thing. I have it on good authority. This may not put you down. But... He kind of nods up to the roof, and you can see someone with a Winchester up there, and it ain't pointed at you. But I'm pretty sure the cyst is going to bleed out. She takes one of those. You, after what you saw, you think you are so infinitesimally stupid enough to aim a rifle at somebody that has bent the ear of God himself. How stupid are you, you little spineless worm? He shoots. I fully expected. I was gonna this say I was shooting ready to at me, to correct? Cast deflection, please. Uh, well, in that case, I'm gonna draw some uh, initiative cards here. That's probably a good idea. Come on, Joker. <laughs> yes, give her the Joker. Give her the Joker. You want eight of the Joker? Can't, no, not eight of can't, I can't promise. <laughs> I want Mr. May. Uh, Wickers, seeing as this is uh, this is going down. With tell my me, skin on the line? Tell me, tell me when. Yeah, that's good. All right, you want me to cut? Yes, please. Like any good poker player. Like that? That's good. All right. Wickers, we'll start with you. Ooh, three of spades. Fair. Sister May, seven of hearts. Ada, three of hearts. Uh, I have an edge that allows me to redraw if it's less than a five. Uh, three of diamonds? Also no good. What? Actually, I don't know how, I don't, I don't know what the dynamic is. It says it allows me to redraw. I don't know if that means it allows me to redraw. Most of them are just once. Yeah, so yeah. three of diamonds, great. Three of diamonds it is. Uh, NPCs are going on two of spades. And Max is going on six. And we'll see if other people get involved. So Sister May, you are up first. Good. I cast deflection. All right. Give me the faith roll. Whatever all right, chat. Should I be um, up boosting this to do all the recipients? It only, the duration is five. And so I'm just wondering if I should try and cast it anticipating a firefight and cover everybody or only use the PowerPoints you need because I might need all of them for later. And then, and then I, I'm not, I'm going to roll, but I'm, I will tell you before I tell you, I will tell you what I'm doing. This went wickers ugly. Uh, I just need to say, I love this this posse because I never know where it's gonna go. John, I'm an he... entity of chaos. Uh, he said, "Don't worry about it." <laughs> Then, um, I would like to try something weird. I will allow it. 
I would like to use my point of conviction. Okay. Is this applicable? Yeah, you can totally use your point of conviction. You want me to tell you what it does? Yes. A uh, conviction. You spend it to add a d6 to all of your trait and damage rolls until the beginning of your next turn. This can ace and is added to the final high die of whatever you roll. And by spending a Benny, you can keep the conviction rolling. Okay. Um, then I would like... Sorry. I would like to um, cast deflection with uh, f four, the four targets of our party. Okay. And I have a 14. Okay. Including the conviction die. Okay. And um, I definitely want the any projectiles to go into the dirt. And while I do this, I... I don't know if this can be done or if this is a multi-action. What what is that? Wait, first of all, what's deflection do? It uh manifests uh deflect or it deflects incoming attacks. Um and so it once cast foes must subtract two from attack rolls directed at the user or four with a raise. Which you got uh, a raise, which I so think it's I got. And then it um, apparently works for each target that I spend power points for. Yep. And John Doom is giving you the Benny to keep it going, your conviction going for next round. Oh, sweet. So you don't have I, to worry about that. Thanks, John. And then is it a multi-action if I'm talking no, while this can, happens? you can talk as long as it doesn't provoke a skill check. Okay. So I know this is going to sound odd and you can tell me no, but I would like to begin by... This morning, we fought a skeleton that was powered by evil and tried to take us down. Today, we stand before the richest and most powerful man in town, who is so consumed with his own greed and his own lust for power that I cannot tell who has an uglier soul. I will let you make a persuasion roll on the next turn. On the next turn, because you got to declare multi actions at the start, but we'll let we'll let that run in there. Uh, Maxim, he's firing both yeah. barrels. I fully expected this. All right, so I have to subtract four from my total. But he also, is... is he using slugs or shot? He's using With uh, a shotgun. He's using slugs. Okay. And uh, so the way it works is he's plus two to hit you. Both barrels is both damage and you add four to it. Yeah. And he is a wild card. Of course he is. And we'll be spending one of his bennies. That's not quite a... Uh... Eat those bennies. Eat them. Come on. Give me different dice. Crom. I've never played to you. I don't have the tongue for it. He was not listening. All right. Uh, uh, so my target number is four. I'm at minus four, but plus two. So it's a total of six. So it doesn't raise, but it does hit Wickers. Wickers, what's your current toughness? Eight. Can you hear the dice from the shot? A shotgun? little bit. Okay. Oh my gosh. That is, that is a lot of ones. I love to hear it. 10, 17, one of them aced, uh, 17, 23, 27. So I've got your toughness at sir, an eight. Is that correct? That is correct. All right. Uh, the shotgun goes off with a crack of thunder. Wickers, you get caught with both barrels in the chest. Four. 
uh, three wounds and shaken. Would you like to spend a Benny to soak? I would love to send a Benny and soak that. All right. Or I got to roll for soaking. So, And then it would also be uh, Wicker's turn next. All right. First one wound mitigated with a five. Okay. Well, no, so it's 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 yeah. one hit. So a okay. five only reduces it from three wounds to two wounds. So if you want a better roll, you got to spend a Benny to up it up. Well, I don't I don't have any more of those. So okay, not, now that I understand. Okay. Hey, we have a right. uh, Yasera. Welcome to uh, welcome to it. Oh, John Doom gave your his final Benny to you to reroll that uh, reroll that soap. I don't deserve it, but I thank you anyway. Ah. Uh, uh, Yasera, welcome to, uh, the channel for the first time chat. You get a Benny just for showing up. You can give it to either the players or if you would like to, Maxim could definitely use some Bennies. 17. Okay. So a 17, 4, 8, 12, 16, you take no wounds and are not shaken. It knocks you back a couple of feet, but you are just, looks, just kind of looks down. <laughs> You are up, sir. Gonna just run up and I'm gonna grab this man by the ankle from the stirrup and just rip him off of his horse and slam him into the ground. Uh, give me a uh, fighting check. All right. That is a... Five. Eight. Brain had to do numbers. You do have to do numbers. I am sorry. That's the best I can. Uh, a five is good enough to hit. Go ahead and roll your strength and your wild card die for damage. Great. Uh, Ada, you're going to be up next. You get the distinct feeling that now that lead's flying, that one's coming for Sister May. Yeah. It, it's my turn second. now. As soon as he uh, gives me the damage roll. Terribly sorry. I'm having to look at one other thing that I have here. So. Okay. I had to look at the specifics for uh, Soul Eater. Which is one of the uh, un unmentioned perks that my character has. So. <laughs> or Edge, I should say. So, let's see here. Is. Okay. We so, are. We are playing the horror at Headstone Hill. So how does a 32 fit on him? Holy crap, Wickers. On top of that, I'm going to make a spirit roll at minus two using Soul Eater, which... If I deal damage with an unarmed attack, whether it be through claws, the mm -hmm. brute force and all that jazz, I get to make a spirit roll at minus two and heal any wounds. Well, you might want to wait till he him. may see if he soaks. That is that is very true. All right. So, yes. a, a so 32 against a toughness six leaves me with a 26. That is six wounds. All right. If he's a wild card, I'm fairly certain that means he's dead. Well, he gets to make a soak roll. He has the bench. True. All right. A D8. Leaving you. You need to do out loud math. That's I know okay. I need to do out loud math. So I am at. Maybe I should have taken resurrection after all. I am at twelve at a twelve and a fifteen. I need to get this. Needs to come up at least a four for him to stay up. At a five. So, 17 gives me 
4, 8, 12, 16. So he takes two wounds. Something definitely crunches when you bring him down to the ground, Wickers. You want to do your soul leader? Yes, I would love, absolutely love it. Ada, you're going to be and up. Great, and one of the great things is, is that Harrow to make spirit rolls with plus two. And because I will have just a flat roll with this because of how soul eater works. So uh, you had plus two to your spirit rolls to recover from being shaken. Not all Never spirit mind. rolls. I, I, it doesn't all fit on the sheet I have, yeah. so I am fortunate. So my bad. Well, then in that case, uh, I believe that a four is still a success. That's correct. All right. So the last wound that I actually had to have. What does it look with, like as you you rip some of this essence out of him? As he slams into the ground and stands up, as he's standing up, there's just shadow that fills any holes. And it's not just his flesh. His clothing stitches starts to stitch itself back into place because he has had a couple tears now. But now it's just everything mends that's on his person as he just... <clears throat> All right, Max. Let's do this the old-fashioned way. Ada, what are you doing? So, like I said, I left most of my weapons with Frank, but I did keep my shotgun. Yeah, what weapons did you leave with Frank? Um, so we had some... Uh, hold on, sorry. So we had some Colts, right? Mm-hmm. And, um... I mean, I don't personally carry a knife, but I imagine uh, Wickers did. Wicker, did keep... Wickers has all of his knives currently on display because he wears them under his coat. And he's got two on his hip and because there was like five individuals that we killed that right. had knives. So he's got the one that he started with, one on his hip, two in his boot, and two set up so in you've a still got really funky fashion. All right. Yeah, he's got them. So you left the Colts. Yep. All right. Uh, but I still have a shotgun, so I am going to shoot at the man on the roof. Uh, your rifle's correct. You got a rifle? Yeah, rifle. You can take the shotgun really from Max. Shot. That's not a shotgun. Right, right. <laughs> He's not going to be using that after we're done with him. Uh, all right, yes. go ahead. Oh, no. Uh, mine's <laughs> Winchester 73. But anyway. Yes. 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 Shooting. <laughs> I'm sorry, JD. <laughs> I've. Uh, so. Oh, I, uh, sorry. Uh, and it'll be at minus two. You're looking for at least a six, Ada. It's uh, it's an eight. I forgot to roll my uh, wild card die. Okay. All right. So, uh, you shoot, and it takes a chunk of the wood out, but it does hit the guy. Go ahead and roll your damage. Just that Clarence fellow. Nope. Oh. Where are you, Clarence? Can I reroll damage? Uh, with Benny. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So long as it's not ones. It's a thirteen. Thirteen damage on this guy. That beats his toughness. Uh, uh, by eight, which is two wounds, so he'll spend Benny for a soap roll. Remember this gang of wild card? No. Oh, okay. Some of them are. It's just the ones we're attacking. Oh, you know. Keep it spicy. You don't see any, uh, you don't know what happened up there ada but someone stands up who looks like the spitting image although younger of jerem and he fires at sister may with a minus four because mm -hmm. deflection oh don't worry i got it written down right here all right, all right, all right. i'm doing it for the edification of the audience oh sure, okay, yeah. so of course 
Well, that's two aces on my wild card die. I don't like that. I need that to stop. That's three. This this uh, si uh rise of the rulers <laughs> wild card die. Oh no wonder! How dare you bring the Thessalonians into this? Uh, blessed sister May. Uh, you get shot in the chest for two wounds and shaken. Would you like to give me a soak roll? Cost the Benny to do so. I would. Holy squash strawberry, sister May, you're in a jam. <laughs> okay, now remind me again what I roll for soak. I don't have to do it very often. Uh, vigor. It's a vigor. Uh, that's, uh, your Vigor your is stats. a D6. Hey, Gray! Gray Diebuck. I love it. Good to see ya. I feel like I'm... My... Uh, I don't know, I can't get too good on that. It's a uh, five. I got a five. You got a five, so you will take a wound and are shaken. Sister May drops to the ground. Blood starting to pool uh, behind her. And at this point, you can hear, I'm going to deal out new cards. Uh, I would like notice rolls from everybody. <laughs> nope. Nah. <laughs> Nothing? Nothing. Not with threes. Seven. Seven. <laughs> Seven. Five. Uh... Ada, you and Sister May can hear behind you. Leslie's like, um, um. And the the hired guns that... I did roll damage separate, uh, uh, John. Uh, the... I tried to roll both at the same time just to kind of keep things moving a little... A little faster. Uh, the the hired guns led by Chips, Heaston yelling to save his sons. Uh, start to draw weapons. But coming down the street, you can hear, What do we want? Independence! When do we want it? Now! And there is a group of townsfolk coming toward Heaston Manors armed with pickaxes weapons and being led by somebody who is currently holding two very familiar colts ada and you can hear jerem frank not one more step not one more you think you called the shots here you think these ragtan bums are going to s save you they're going to save you from my men my wrath not today sir not today this is my town now you all go back and you will sign those documents or by god there will be Hell to pay if every ounce of ghost rock in this godforsaken town and county don't belong to me. Any of you men who don't throw down your arms and grab a pickaxe for the Heaston Mining Company, your blood is on your own hands. Wickers, Ace of Spades. Sister May? Four of Diamonds. Leslie is kind of pulling you back. Uh, you should have Sister May. Go ahead and add that to it. Yeah, add that. Uh, Ada, Ace of Hearts. Maxim Heaston, King of Spades. That's not fast enough. Gatling Heaston, the one who shot Sister May. Jack of Hearts. And the rest of the town and the guys go on their own initiative. What goes on with my uh, Ace of Spades wickers. Looks down at Max, who is fairly broken, I would say. Would you say that uh, Max has uh, had himself a little tribulation? Yes, Max definitely is looking hurt. Well... Deeming Max to not be worth the amount of spit that he could possibly muster if he was still able to salivate, 
uh, Wickers is going to go dashing and he's going to just kind of super go to Superman punch <laughs> Jerem right in the face. Uh, you're going to run through the crowd? You can't get to Jerem. Mm. Jerem is protected I, I'm, by uh, okay. two dozen men. It'd be a very evil thing to do, John. Don't do that. No, bad rook, bad. No, you're you're the good guy here. Remember the good guy. No, you're not. Why do you lie to yourself? Um. <laughs> well, if I'm not going to be able to make it to Jerem, well, it's gonna just gonna go to a. going to go to just drop his hand and he's going to try to make it quick for poor little Max here. Alright, roll it. Max's parry is five. Ada, you are going to be up next. <sighs> What'd you get? Double ones? <sighs> Come back to you in a second, Wickers. That's fine. <laughs> you got a with your dice. Ada, what do you do? That guy, that guy just shot Sister May. Yeah. Leslie is taking his turn. I'm so sorry, Sister May. I don't. So sorry. Uh, give me the shot, Ada. Minus two to the to the roll. This D eight's gonna go into timeout. I have a dice jail right dice under jail. you on the screen, Wickers. You can just. <laughs> I mean, that's a good place. And somewhere in here, I have a dice jail, but it's hiding from me. Oh, no, there it is. Found it. A five is not good enough, right? It is not. You need to get at least a six with a minus two. JD and John Doom both using the iconic dice jail. That's fantastic. My dice are on the side of Houston, so... Not so much? Nope, not good. Right. All right. Not double points, though, let's be fair. All right. Yeah. Gatling's taking yeah. a shot at you, Ada. He kind of pops over and takes a shot at you. Oh, that is awful. Benny. I got a three on two dice. <laughs> Get me ones. Um, that's nothing with the deflection. So, uh, the bullet kind of, kind of, um, Maxim grabs his peacemaker off of his hip, Wickers, as you kind of go to punch, and you get right down on top of him, and he puts the gun in your stomach and fans the hammer into you. Cool. That is the, that, that is the, pretty weird. what? I'm down with that. That's all right. Each shot is a shooting die at a minus four penalty, along with the wild card die if the wild card is also a shooter. I'm firing all six shots. Let's see what happens. So I'm a minus eight. I didn't say it was a yeah. smart move, but it's his move. <laughs> it's a scared. It's a scared man's move, and it's fair. All right. Makes a scene really awesome, in my opinion. But yeah. All right, so the first one hits with an eight. So a total of four, which is what I need to hit. Second one yep. hits. Third one does not. Fourth one. A 12 minus four is eight, so that hits with a raise. The fifth one does not. And the sixth one does not. All right, so the Colt Peacemaker, you guys just hear thick shots ring up and Wickers kind of bending over Heaston's gun. And so here we go, Wickers. I'm telling you, yep. the Rise of the Rune Lords box set was totally worth it just for this time. I would like you to put that thing back where you found it, sir. <laughs> back in Golarion where it belongs. <laughs> Put that thing back into the God's forsaken place it came from. All right, so uh, nine on the first one. Yeah. Fifteen on the second one. Ouch. Six, seven, eight, 
and 16 on the third one. So, Wickers, that ends up being with your toughness. Your toughness is still 8, correct? Yep. Uh, shaken. A wound. And so, shaken is the first one. A wound is the second one. And two wounds is the third one. You may soak any or all that you have the ability to. Well, which is absolutely none of them, because I am fresh out of bennies. Oh no, chat, do we have any bennies to donate to Wickers? Going once. Everybody's used. All right. Everybody used their bennies. All right, so. that's three wounds, Wickers. <laughs> Sister May, you are up. And then we're going to show off one of my favorite features of Savage Worlds. The death okay. roll. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Give it uh, to me. I got an extra five from the conviction die. Uh, that would have my... reduced it by one more wound. So you are not shaken. Oh, um, and then I spent. It hit that Benny bottle Benny. of uh, consecrated wine, so it looked like blood, which is why Leslie is currently pulling you away. Um, and then I spent a Benny to keep the conviction rolling. Okay, Sister May. <laughs> And then, how far am I away from Wickers? Um, Leslie's not a strong man. I just want to make sure that I don't need to take an extra action to get to him. Um, you are about, we'll call it six, six inches. So, right. Okay, then I will sit up with... Oh, good, you're not dead! And I will begin to speak again as I make my way to Wickers to heal him. We fought six headless horsemen in Spooky Hollow, eliminating the evil from the foggy valley. And yet until this moment, I had not seen a darker heart filled with greed and pestilence as the one I see before me. You're you, trying. Are you multi action? You're condemning me to hell? <laughs> no, I'm not. I am talking about Easton. <laughs> I know. I know. I was tracking. So, are you trying to heal Wickers <laughs> and make your persuade roll to tell the story? Yes, I am, sir. Do I get uh, my conviction roll for both? So, uh, yes, you do. And it'll be minus two to each. Then, yes. I did get out some of my best okay. rolling dice. So the persuasion roll is a 15. Okay. Sorry, I have to pull back up my cheat sheet for myself. I like it because it looks like she's consulting God. That's because she's looking up from her set. <laughs> it's, it's perfect. <laughs> and a 10 for healing. All right. So a 10 for healing heals two wounds. <clears throat> and a 15 on persuasion. Uh, JD, it will be a net wash, so nothing will change. And you'll, you'll understand why. But you can see that it does cause the townsfolk to kind of step back and it causes the uh the people uh who have signed on with Heaston to kind of pause but then the man with two guns says to hell with you Heaston and pulls both of the triggers and hell and death ride forth from both guns. So, what we're going to do is Savage Worlds has this great... One of the reasons we're doing this stream is to show off how great Savage Worlds is and how wonderful the horror at Heaston Hill 
or the Horrid Headstone Hill campaign is. So Savage Worlds allows us to, if we wanted to have this whole tactical fight set up, all of the guys moving around, we can. It also allows us to do quick encounters. And quick encounters, I'm going to ask each of you for one thing you're trying to, what, what are you trying to accomplish in this encounter? You get to make one roll. It is a dangerous encounter, which means if you fail at this roll, you will take wounds. But you can go in any order you want. You get to decide what you want to do. So I'm going to ask what everyone wants to do. Obviously, the miners and the strong men are trying to kill each other. Ada, what are you wanting to do? Um... I think, uh, I think take out, uh, the guy who was on the roof. All right. Sister May, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to persuade Heaston's men that they've chosen the wrong side. Okay. And I'm spending my Benny to keep the conviction rolling then. All right, so that would be a persuade roll. Uh, this is going to be, I mean, and I'm assigning individual target numbers based off what you guys are trying to do. Okay, the difficulty of the, the task, that sort of thing. Leslie is definitely trying to keep you and Tyree safe. So he's going to be using his, his um, spell casting to to kind of keep the two of you safe. Wickers. <sighs> I... I mean... In for a pound. Going after... Ground her. pound, that is. That's right. <laughs> You're going to try to kill Max? Unless in this, in this situation... I would be, it would be possible for me to get to Jerem. Oh, it definitely the, would. So this is one roll for the encounter. I have to weigh who I hate more. Or rather, who Wickers hates more. One, carry the two. One and carry the two. One of them is just an annoying little tag tag on Dingleberry. The other is the, uh, well, the posterior of a mule. So, gonna go to, he's, his goal is quite clear and simple now that Bedlam has broke loose. Get to, and it's a little bit of a flashback type thing. Get to the head. Cut off the head. The general. Cut off the head. End it quick. So he's coming for Jerem. All right. As you all scatter <laughs> to try and do this, gunfire firing back and forth. Miners are going down. Uh, detectives are falling. Uh, you clearly see Chips take a pickaxe in the side of the head, and it does not look like he, the marshal will be getting back up, but he manages to kill the guy who killed him almost reflexively as his hand comes up and his colt goes off. Blood, smoke, the smell of cordite, all through the air. We will start with Ada. Ada to take out Mad Dog Gatling he Heaston is going to be a TN8 shooting test from you. Please give me your roll. Mad Dog Gatling. That's a pretty rad name. <laughs> I'm not going to make it. You're not going to make it? Nope. Not All even right. with a bend. All right. You and, and Gatling are firing at each other. People are moving around you. You're, you know, rechambering around as quick as you can. 
and Gatling's bullet finds you before yours finds his. Uh, standing in front of you, Sister May, as you go to talk, Leslie, cards flying, taking shots, knocking people off, sliding under people's feet as they go falling backwards, always managing to come back into the deck as he tries to keep you and Tyree safe. I want you to give me your persuade roll. Uh, the TN to get people to stop and turn is still going to be, you know, it's, it's essentially four, but this is a minus, uh, let me make sure I'm doing this right, a minus four to your check. Sweet, because I rolled a 13. So that would be a nine, so that's a success with a raise. Your voice kind of lifts above the din. And you can see more and more people as they just, your, your voice kind of awakens them to the carnage all around. People are seeing drinking buddies that they were fighting. Cousins. Um, In-laws. People who go to the, the church with them. And they start to, the horror starts to descend. And you can see that you briefly raised the hopes of the town. But this is kind of seesawing it back and forth. And through it all. Through the dust and the blood, the gun smoke, Wickers stalks his target. So Wickers, uh, this is going to be a, a, a target number of five with a minus four on top of it. Figured. Fifteen. Minus four is eleven. All right, Wickers, what does it look like when you take out Jerem? He wades through, somehow managing to, through the immediate scuffle, just moving his way out of the way like a dangerous willow through a crowd in the wind. And he stalks his way up and he just right hook. Left hook. One to the gut. Then he grabs Jerem by the neck and tilts his face up to him and says, You're done. And then he will switch his hands and then he will just... He had intended to go for the kill. But somebody had a really high persuasion roll. And he just... Be just make sure that Jerem isn't moving anymore with one last right hook that just takes him to the ground and just leaves him a limp noodle. All right. So as he falls, the fight comes to an end. Ada, you've taken a wound. Uh, Leslie looks as if he's been bruised and beaten, but mostly standing upright. The way... Com combat encounters works is you need more successes than the number of players to succeed you got three successes but every raise counts as an additional success and you had two people who made a success with raise so in the end while there are dozens wounded there are only about eight to ten who are actually dead as the riot, the gunfighting comes to an end, the knocking out of Heaston, the voice of Sister May, bring reason back to the town. And when we come back next week, we will pick up the start of Act 3 of the horror at Headstone Hill. I hope you guys all enjoyed this session. Uh, Rook, you you lead a mean chase of a revenge and an easy path for a GM to follow. Is this you what I had planned? welcome. No. Um, thank you all for <laughs> tuning in and for watching. Uh, thanks to everybody who jumped in uh, from uh, the Discord. I am so glad to see you all here. Uh, thank you for all of the bennies that you have donated. We will be back next week. Leslie will be back next week. Uh, you will not have to listen to my crude uh, impersonation of uh, of Leslie, but I you know I do my best. 
And uh, if you uh, like uh, Deadlands, if you like Savage Worlds, please go check them out. Pinnacle Entertainment Group. Uh, you can also check them out on Drive Through RPG as our wonderful uh, moderator Phantom has just put in the chat. We will be back tomorrow uh, with the next uh, part of. Well, actually, no, I'm wrong. We will be back tomorrow uh, with our Torg Eternity. The B team is returning. It's like the A team, but slightly uh, stranger. And uh, more chaos. He's so looking forward to it. And we're going to be uh, back at 10 a.m. Central with Behind the Screen. We're wrapping up our discussion of high fantasy and how we can evoke that at the table. Thanks to everyone who tuned in. Greg, it was good to see you. John, always good to see you. Gray Diebook, uh, Tank the Frank, everyone else. If I missed you, I apologize. And... Um, Thank you to everybody who is watching this on YouTube. We greatly appreciate it. If you are a member of the Iconic Patrons, please jump over to the Discord where we talk about the games, all of the games, uh, during the week. We'd love to have a chat with you. You can jump into the Discord uh, for as little as $1. You can check us out at patreon.com forward slash Iconic Production. And uh, if you have yet to subscribe or, or follow here on Twitch, please consider doing so. When we get to 1,000 subscribers on YouTube or Twitch, whichever happens first, I will be giving away a full Kickstarter set of the new edition of Fading Suns. It is... It is five hardcover books, three softcover books, a GM screen, a GM pack, and a deck of cards. So... Uh, thank you so much for joining us. We are Iconic Production. This is my amazing posse. Thank you all uh, for uh, running with the chaos tonight. I will see you all next week. And until next time, uh, stay safe, stay healthy, stay gaming. Uh, Aces Wild Cards, thanks for joining us. We play Savage Worlds, whether we're at the table or over the internet. In our role-playing game, fantasy is just the beginning. From the Wild West to the depths of outer space and beyond. Anytime, any place, they're all Savage Worlds. We play Savage Worlds.